well i'm super excited to do today's video because this is a little video that i've been contemplating not contemplating but a video that i was supposed to record a long time ago y'all know i be really busy so sometimes it's hard for me to like push out certain content like i really got to take the time out i'm getting it done now so that's the most important part if you're new to my channel hi hello welcome i hope you enjoy it here i hope you love me just as much as i already love you and if you are a returning subscriber hey how you doing? How you doing okay? So, the video is a uh, Rainbows haul. Now, let me tell y'all something. Let me let me give y'all a little bit of tea. I shop at Rainbows frequently. A lot of outfits, let me not say a lot. Most of my outfits are from like Fashion Nova, GT and stuff like that. A lot of my quick outfits are from Rainbows. And I feel like if you know how to shop in there properly, you'll be able to find some really, really, really good stuff. Especially last minute, but period. All in all, you'll be able to find a lot of things that's like the same quality as these Instagram brands. It's just for cheaper. And then the only difference with Rainbow is you just really have to know how to shop in there. So let me give y'all some tea. When I was in school, you used to be able to know who was wearing a Rainbow's outfit because of the fact that it would say like love on it or it would say pretty or um, what's another one? <laughs> If you know, you just know. And I don't even gotta go too much into details. If you know, you know. And don't get me wrong, you, you like what you like. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're one of those girls where it's like, you're a baddie on a budget and you don't want nobody to know, like, you know, just look at look at you and be like, oh yeah, that outfit is rainbow. Or oh yeah, that outfit is fashion over. Cause there's definitely sometimes I look at a girl and I'd be like, oh, like her outfit is cute. I don't even have to ask her where she got the outfit from. I know exactly where she got it from. So that's the objective of today's video. I I'm gonna show y'all what to look for and what to buy when you go and shop at a place like Rainbow so that it doesn't scream rainbow. <laughs> so y'all, I got my little Rainbow's bag right here. This is from my most recent pickup. Oh my gosh, I forgot I bought all of this stuff. I only bought three things, but these are my newest three items from Rainbow's. And then I have my sets right there. Okay, so the first set that I'm gonna get into is this two-piece short set from rainbows of course this is a rainbow video you know a lot of times girls like in college they'll throw on like sweat shorts like they like these i love these and it's crazy because i actually do not have any shorts like this so i'm happy i was able to pick this up i think this is really cute they actually have this set in a few colors um i debated between the black and the lavender but i ended up going with the black because it just looks mad nice and clean and i'm already picturing like a hairstyle like even this hairstyle that i currently have i feel like will look super cute with this outfit so this is how the top looks so the top is sleeveless and then it has a hoodie on the back so when i was buying it my friend was like oh you don't think the hoodie kind of screams rainbow like i kind of saw where she was coming from but at the same time i'm like nah like this is mad cute and i don't think anybody's gonna really be able to look at this and be like oh yeah she got this from rainbow and if they can it doesn't matter it's just all about finding the right stuff how you pair it how you dress it up just things like that that's gonna make the outfit worth way more than its value so this set was actually $20 why the girl rip my tag out? Y'all, she ripped my tag out. Why would she do that? Why would she do that? I don't even have a receipt. What the heck? She don't want me to return my stuff. Matter of fact, I probably do have a receipt and I put it in my purse. I'm probably lying on her my fault. I'm contemplating the shoes that I would pair this outfit with. I would honestly want to pair it with some sneakers, but I don't have any sneakers that would actually go with this. Actually, no, I have my black and white dunks. Let me show y'all. Oh my gosh, this makes my feet look so big. Y'all, these are size 8 in boys. I do have big feet. I'm not going to hold you. So I never wore these shoes before because, like, I have a specific outfit that I want to wear the first time that I wear these. But once I do wear these for the one time, not for nothing, I could pair it with this outfit, I feel like a lavender purse on if i wear this outfit i feel like lavender will look really cute and i actually have that purse in mind this is not the purse that i'm talking about it's a smaller purse that's about this size but this is the exact color 
when I go on Pinterest, I like to go on Pinterest for outfit inspirations. And when I do find an outfit that I like and I see, okay, like they paired it with this, oftentimes my issue is shoes. I don't have shoes that goes with that specific outfit or like, you know, the outfit that I'm trying to like recreate. So what I'm saying is work with what you have. If you don't have the same type of shoes that I have, but my outfit, you work with the shoes that you have. Work with what you have in your closet, work within your budget. Do not go above and beyond trying to impress people. The next two piece set that I have is a pants set. This is not really white. I think this is more of a off-white kind of thing. Not really a cream, but more so an off-white. I love these pants because the foot of them give bell-bottom vibes and I love that. Like when you put these on and if you was to wear them with like slides, I like when your pants foot kind of like, you know, covers up your slides a little bit. It looks so cute to me. This is a little bit thicker material. On a super hot day, this is not something that I would want to wear. I can't really explain how this fits, but basically like your boobs go right here and then this goes right here and then it kind of fits like that. You guys will see it on me. I think it's really cute, but you have to be careful when you wear it because your breasts will slip out. I'm going to give y'all that one morning right away because it happened to me not with this outfit but one of the outfits i'm about to show y'all my titties like i'm we're not gonna get into it but we're gonna get into it you can definitely pair this outfit with a purse that's a different color you could do blue you could do green you could do purple you can really do anything because this is borderline white and you know white goes with anything okay so the next outfit that i have is this two-piece set this is similar to the white one that i just showed you but the difference with this these pants are are more of a silky material and you could definitely wear these on a really hot day because of the fact that the material is so loose it's these pants are literally so comfortable i wore this outfit already to my god kids baby shower and this outfit was given what was supposed to give i don't know if y'all know these new tops but basically it's like a free form top so the way that i wear mine is i put put it around my neck i'll put this side to this boob and then i'll cross the other side and it'll cover like that and then and I just tie it in the back and bring the remaining to the front and just tie it on the tag that comes on the shirt it shows you four different ways that you can actually tie your shirt so with this outfit when I wore it I played it safe I did it simple I wore some pink slides and I had this square white purse I threw on some silver jewelry and I feel like the silver with the pink really goes well sometimes I don't really like gold jewelry with certain colors I just feel like it doesn't work if I go on to the next two piece set though this is what I mean by you can literally go in rainbows and you can find so much stuff this next piece that I have I believe I bought this with the pink set as well this one is more so the material of, of the white two piece except this one isn't as thick so it's thicker than the pink one but it's not as thick as the white one this is cute I love the pants I wore the pants before but the top I'm not really too much filling the top and the reason why I'm not filling the top is because of the fact that my breasts are on the bigger side a top like this is kind of hard to wear a bra with because as you can see you have to tie it in the back and I don't want my bra to show because I feel like that's really tacky I don't know I just didn't really like I put it on I feel like maybe for the occasion of the day it just wasn't given what it was supposed to give I ended up actually pairing this with a top that I have in black to this one I didn't buy this set for no reason though so Eventually, I'm going to wear this set, this the complete set. For the most part, it's cute. Like, for a girl who has small titties that doesn't have the problem that I have, this is really cute. I love the cut of it, and I think that's why I even picked it up, because I'm like, this is so, so cute. That's it so far for my two-piece sets. So I'm going to show y'all real quick the other stuff that I did get. The first thing that I got, let me tell y'all, why I got so much black stuff? And I'm really not the not a person that really wears black like that. I have a lot of colorful things. I like colors. I like my hair being colorful. I like my outfits being colorful. So me getting into black is new for me. When I was going in the store, I was like, I really, really want a black tube dress. I went in there and I found this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot 
cannot wait to wear this. It's going to give classy and I paid $10 for this dress. I have some brown fur slides. One thing about me, I stay with my shades on. So I will wear my Dior's. That's not Dior's, but I will wear those. Just some big black glasses to really give that dramatic look. With a bust down middle part, 30 inches, you know, if you know, you know. I feel like I would dead put on my LV bag just for the brown and the brown but that's what I, I be saying like I be playing it safe and like matching my bag to my shoes or something like that but I don't know maybe how do y'all think I would be able to dress this dress up I don't know but it, this dress is so cute and it comes all the way down to my ankles like I haven't tried it on yet but I already know it's gonna fit me tight it's gonna hug my body and it's gonna give what's supposed to be given one thing about me though I don't really like off the shoulder or like no sleeve type of tops or dresses because of the fact that like I said my breasts are so heavy that when I do wear half bras it's like my breasts still be like I gotta constantly like pull the dress up and stuff like that so what I'll do to give me extra security is I'll put a tube top on after my bra and then I'll put the dress on and, and that definitely helps me from constantly having to like pull my dress up I bought these shorts oh my gosh y'all if you know you know me going out and spending money, money like this on myself is like a new level of accomplishment for me because I do not be by myself nothing at all like I don't be treating myself so I'm so excited the fact that now I'm going out shopping and stuff like I'm in my grown woman phase these are the shorts that I got and I'm definitely gonna go back and get more shorts but I'm not gonna get too much because it's about to be August and as y'all know like summer literally flies so I'll probably go back and get like two three more pairs but these are so cute to me like I literally saw them and fell in love I paid $17.99 no I paid $16.99 for these I don't know I just love them and I feel like the way that I would dress this up is I don't know if y'all know like those button up t-shirts type of look that they be wearing with the shorts and then like they'll throw on some heels and go to brunch that's the kind of look I have for this outfit I don't know if it's because I'm getting older but I'm also growing out of the like crop top and shorts kind of look when I see it on myself it just looks so tacky to me now like I really don't like that type of look and I don't mean crop tops like the ones that I showed y'all I'm talking about like crop tops crop tops like I have a specific type of shirt in mind and I'm gonna put the video in so that y'all could see the type of crop top that I mean because it's so many different forms of crop tops but that specific type of shirt with like shorts I just don't like the look no more for me I don't like it for me that was really, I don't know where I put the black dress because all of my dresses are right here now. But the moral of this video is really and truly like, when you go into rainbow, you really just have to spend your time and search. This is me just telling y'all, do not sleep on rainbows. Make sure you go in there, do what it do, spend a little time in there. Don't just go in there and look at the mannequins real quick and say, oh, I'm like, you gotta get down and dirty with rainbows. You gotta love her. You gotta hug her. You gotta nurture her. She will return to faith. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this and if you actually want to see me if you want to see me actually go in rainbows and show y'all how I be shopping in there, I will do it. Just say the word and I'm going to get that video done. Make sure you subscribe and definitely comment down below because I love reading y'all comments. Also, don't forget to check out my description box because I have a lot of information down below. Follow me on my social medias and I will see y'all in my next video. I love you guys so much and if you made it this far you really are a true Kaori supporter and I love you for that so I'll see y'all soon bye